Three women, including a friend of Italy's new prime minister, were killed when a man opened fire at a cafe in Rome, injuring four other people. Those inside were meeting as part of a local bloc's residences committee. Roberto Galtieri, mayor of Rome, described the shooting as a grave episode of violence and said he would attend an emergency meeting on Monday. Meeting on Monday. A suspect, 57, is in custody. He has a history of disputes with some of the committee's board, reports say. Luciana Siorba, the committee's vice president, was at the cafe in the Fidin district, Italy's La Repubblica newspaper reports. She said the gunman had entered the bar on Sunday shouting, shouting, I'll kill you all, before using his pistol. He was reportedly overpowered by other residents before being detained by police. Since releasing their debut single I'm Real in 2021, K pop girl group Eternity have racked up millions of views online. They sing, dance, and interact with their fans just like any other band. In fact, there's mainly one big difference between them and any other pop group you might know all 11 members are virtual characters. Non humans, hyper real avatars made with artificial intelligence. The business we are making with Eternity is a new business. I think it's a new genre, says Park j i y u n the woman behind Eternity. The advantage of having virtual artists is that, while K pop stars often struggle with physical limitations or even mental distress, distress because they are human beings, virtual artists can be free from these. All flights have been suspended at Stansted Airport after it was forced to close its runway due to bad weather. Heathrow and Gatwick also cancelled or delayed flights after snow, ice, and freezing fog swept the UK. A yellow weather warning remains placed for Scotland, London, and southwest England until Monday morning, with the disruption set to continue. Trains have also been delayed and drivers warned to take care after several motorway accidents. Stansted said on Sunday night its only runway was closed to allow for snow clearance due to weather conditions and all flights were suspended. Delays to flights were experienced earlier due to de icing of aircraft, which is a ground handler's responsibility and safety of aircraft and passengers is paramount, a spokesman added. South Korea's parliament has passed a motion calling for the dismissal of the interior minister over the government's response to the Itaewon crush. Lee Sang Min has been facing mounting pressure to step down following the incident that killed 156 people and injured 152 others on the 29th of October. 
The opposition controlled assembly passed the motion on Sunday. But President Yoon Suk Yeol is widely expected to reject calls for his minister's resignation. The Democratic Party has threatened to impeach the minister if the president rejects the motion, Yonhap News Agency reports. The Interior Ministry oversees South Korea's police, who have been criticized for the response to the incident in Itaewon, a popular nightlife district in Seoul with narrow streets and alleys filled with bars and restaurants. England may have done better to reach the semi-final in Moscow in 2018 than they did here in Qatar but Gareth Southgate class of 2022 is unquestionably in much healthier shape for the future. Six of the starting lineup that lost to Croatia four years ago were still in place against France, but there is a dash of youthful brilliance about England's current, about England's current team, which gives it far more room for development than the one that featured Delhi Alley going into decline, Jesse Lingard and the veteran Ashley Young. England's young generation, barring the accidents or the unforeseen, will be getting to its peak at the next World Cup, and what a peak that promises to be. Captain Harry Kane said England would use their defeat by France to be mentally and physically stronger for the next challenge, as they headed home from the World Cup in Qatar. England were beaten 2-1 in the quarterfinals, with Kane missing an 84th-minute penalty, having earlier equaled England's scoring record of 53 goals. Gareth Southgate's side, Southgate's side left their hotel in al Wakra before their flight home. Writing on social media, the Tottenham forward added, We've given it everything and it's come down to a small detail which I take responsibility for. There's no hiding from it, it hurts and it'll take some time to get over it but that's part of sport. Now it's about using the experience to be, ment to be mentally and physically stronger for the next challenge. Thanks for all the support throughout the tournament, it means a lot. The noise was deafening at Al Thumama Stadium, a mixture of euphoria and disbelief, tears, hugs and smiles. Moroccan fans had dreamt of this moment, but not many expected that it would actually happen. Their team has made history, becoming the first Arab and African side to make it to the World Cup semi-finals. They beat yet another for favorite, Portugal. A huge moment for the continent and the region. The tension was palpable on the pitch and in the stands. Morocco's fans chanted seer or go ahead in Arabic and let out a massive cheer as their team scored. Flags tell an important part of the Moroccan World Cup story.
As I write this, the skyscraper outside my window is radiating red with a green star in the middle. But there were others alongside Morocco's red and green. Fans carried Saudi Arabian, Iraqi, Egyptian, Palestinian, Qatari, and Jordanian flags. France has won this year's Junior Eurovision Song Contest, which was held in Yerevan, Armenia. 13 year old Lissandro won with 203 points for his song O Maman, beating hosts Armenia in second place, Georgia third, and Ireland fourth. The United Kingdom came fifth overall with 146 points, although it takes points, although it did win the public vote. The UK's entrant, Freya Sky, performed live after suffering with vocal issues during rehearsals. The result is determined by a 50 50 vote, with half of the votes deriving from online voting, and the other half from professional juries, which are based on the final dress rehearsal. The Sai Yus in Kenya have come together for a sports competition, created as an alternative to the group's annual lion hunt, a traditional rite of passage. Hundreds competed in various games in the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro, including spear throwing, athletics, and high jump. For generations, Maasai warriors were expected to fight, and to fight and kill a lion as part of a ritual centered around their transition to manhood. Serbia's act did not perform live due to medical reasons, with viewers seeing a rehearsal performance instead. The voting system is slightly different from the adult edition, as viewers were able to vote for their own country. The story of identical twins who spoke to no one but each other for years has been brought to life by a new film. June and Jennifer Gibbons were born in April 1963 and grew up in Haverford West, Pembrokeshire. They were taken to Broadmoor Hospital, a high security mental health hospital, when they were 19, before Jennifer died at the age of 30. Marjorie Wallace, the film's executive producer, described them as brilliant writers with a great sense of humor. For years, they spoke only to one another and, as teenagers, committed a variety of crimes, including vandalism, petty theft, and arson, resulting in them being institutionalized indefinitely.
Nicola Wordsworth says her pet Tibetan terrier Birdie shares her dietary regime. I'm a, a flexitarian, an off vegan and vegetarian. I don't do dairy and I rarely do meat, says the 54 year old from Kent. Birdie is an off vegan and vegetarian too. And when he has meat in his food, I ensure it is sustainable, low mileage, and good quality, same as for me. A UK study earlier this year found that 61% of pet owners now want to know about the environmental impact of the food they buy for their animal. Given the footprint of the pet food industry, this may well be a good thing. In all my years covering business, I've never witnessed a collision between workers and employers like this. This winter is seeing one of the highest levels of walkouts in recent memory as millions of workers across both the public and private sector are demanding higher pay rises to match the soaring cost of living. More than 1 million working days will be lost to strike action by the end of December, according to projections by the Financial Times. The next three weeks running up to the new year resemble an advent calendar of disruption as nurses, transport workers, postal workers, baggage handlers, and others have scheduled strikes. Teenage girl's incurable cancer has been cleared from her body in the first use of a revolutionary new type of medicine. All other treatments for Alyssa's leukemia had failed. So doctors at Great Ormond Street Hospital used base editing to perform a feat of biological engineering to build her a new living drug. Six months later, the cancer is undetectable, but Alyssa is still being monitored in case it comes back. Alyssa, who is 13 and from Leicester, was diagnosed with T cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia in May last year. T cells are supposed to be the body's guardians, seeking out and destroying threats, but for Alyssa, they had become the danger and were growing out of control. Her cancer was aggressive. Chemotherapy, and then a bone marrow transplant, were unable to rid it from her body. An annual poll by Gallup suggests that women, on average worldwide, have been getting angrier over the past 10 years. Why might this be? Two years ago, Tasha Renee was standing in her kitchen when a deep, dark, hollow scream emerged from the depths of her lungs. It took her by surprise. Anger has always been an emotion that's easy for me to, that's easy for me to tap into, she says. But this was like nothing she had felt before. It was in the midst of the pandemic and she had had enough. She'd spent the previous 20 minutes walking around her house listing aloud everything that made her angry. But after the scream, she felt an intense physical release. 
Since then, together with her partner Der Jacqueline Faith, Tasha has been gathering women from all over the world on Zoom for sacred rage healing, to talk about everything that gives them rage and then scream it out. U.S. actress Selma Blair says speaking publicly about her multiple sclerosis, MS, diagnosis has had a major impact on her career in Hollywood. When I talked about it, there was so much support, but I never got a job again. Blair had experienced fatigue and speech disturbances since her youth, but doctors took many years to establish what was wrong. What was wrong. Her unexplained health issues led to years of feeling low but she says she kept them secret. Selma Blair is one of the women featured on the 100 Women list, which each year names 100 inspiring and influential women around the world. This year the list is honoring the progress that has been made since its inception 10 years ago.